What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Emif Patrick, I'm going to play Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'm gonna be playing on the hardest difficulty which is give me Deus Ex and hopefully I can get the pacifist achievement. I have to complete the whole game without killing anyone. So yeah, this is going to be a stealth walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get inside the game. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post rate. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. All right, you get to play now. Patient X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. So I'm not gonna read everything, but you can pause the video and read. I'm just gonna read really important documents. David, do you still have this? It was a gift from our first date. It was a spur of the moment purchase. A joke. Well, it works because I forgave you for picking me up in those clothes. Be careful with that. It's a first edition. David bought it for me. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Should listen. Hey! Stop reading my email. No, I can. Come on! Wow, how long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. 
I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. Holmes. Are you coming? In a second. Then we got an achievement. Nice. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of. Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the theory. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all it's another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the orbit. Here, watch. Go ahead. Holy shit, I want one of those. Impressive. How soon till it's ready? Impressive I'm indeed. I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. <laughs> You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat. But neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. Hey, ciao. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Richard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites. States. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. 
Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report home. <coughs> we better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Nothing to get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Oh, finally we get to play for real. Let me check if you can grab something in this office and steal something from our boss. But he looks broke, he has nothing. Hurry up, Adam. Code is 0451. Okay. 0451. Nice. Richard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn it. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! Okay, we can hide our gun. We're not gonna use it. I said hide. Oh. Okay, so I already played this level, this game, I never completed it, but, you know, every time I played this game, something went wrong. First time, my hard drive died, second time, my GPU died, and this guy died as well. Oh. He got wasted. Eyeballs. I don't want augmented eyeballs. Get out of my way. Nice. So we are going for the full stealth, non-lethal approach. I'm not gonna kill anyone. Only bosses, because I have to. But yeah, and there are only there are only two guns I can use: the um, stun gun and the tranquilizer rifle. So I remember this part where to just run here and get behind the cover. Yeah, yeah nice. And now just wait. It's much a waiting game here. One guard is going to the left and the other guy will stop in front of you. Keep running. Watch this. Pretty much here. This is patrol path. Okay, now you have to wait for the other guy. Okay, you can go now. You can pretty much run and you're okay. As you can see, they didn't see me. No. Nice. So now... I don't remember this part. Okay, now, now I can remember. Uh, this... This section isn't that hard if you know the AI limitations. And I studied everything about the AI pretty much in this level. The first, the first time I played this game was the day one, I can say. But as I said before, every time something went wrong. I had to format, my hard drive died, my GPU died, my CPU died, everything. I had to buy a new PC. And 
Yeah, I didn't complete this game, but this time I'm gonna do my best. I want to complete everything, every single mission. So now you have to wait for this guy to turn around and you can pretty much go. Oh, nice. This guy is stalking me. Okay, now we can go. And yeah, it's clear. And yeah. He did. Wow, bitch is invisible and can jump really high. Well, he got wasted. Okay, this part is a little bit tricky. Okay, we made it. If you don't jump or don't run this part you you can't it's it's harder to get past this section so i found this method two years ago and if you are fast enough you can run and hide behind the door and when they come come out you can just sneak by okay now uh, oh, okay, now I remember. You have just pretty much to wait for these guys to look the other way, and you can you can go. Okay, after this section there will be a cutscene, and I'm gonna cut after the cutscene. So I just want to say hello to everyone, and thank you for watching and. Yeah, leave uh, a comment, a rating, any, anything. It it helps the channel, and yeah. It was a glass. Come on, Ed. Stay with us. Steady, steady. He doesn't need that. Bring that cyberarm prosthesis. I love you. Haven't you lost enough people today? I 
given the info they need.